This is Twit. You know, Windows 11 is nice. I mean, I, and I have to say, partially because I, I've, I've switched over to Windows 11 pretty much, except for one thing. I... I review laptops, and I, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I did to one actually, but I'm, I'm not typically going to just upgrade a machine to Windows 11. I have to, you know, use the thing that it comes with. Right, right. And mm -hmm. when you go back to Windows 10, it's like, man, this is, um, it's not as nice, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't think, I, if you had asked me, I don't know, three months ago, five months ago, you know, I wouldn't have said like, oh, it's garbage, you know. But you use Windows 11, it's like actually Windows 10 is kind of. <laughs> It's, you know, it's and kind for of me, interesting. It's pretty much the same. <laughs> right. That's true. Right. Mary like when jo I switch is, back um, and forth, I'm just like, yeah. So the only thing that's different for me is right. the icons are to the left instead of centered. And the start menu, <laughs> which I never use, looks different. Right. I heard Otherwise, they removed it's exactly the, same. the registry <laughs> option to shift the task bar yeah. to the left or the, the, the right. start yeah, menu to the left. Yeah. I wonder that's if they'll bring that back or if it's just. I know. They're saying, we no, this is the new way. Well, that's part of the ongoing outrage, I guess, the hand wringing. Yeah, um, right. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I haven't had I, any. I haven't had any black screens of death or whatever we're going to now. Oh, yeah, I haven't had any new, problems with it, right? Yeah, I have. Um, you have. I've had major reliability issues with File Explorer that other people don't seem to have, mm. which is fascinating mm. because it's happening huh. on multiple computers. Um, but I still prefer it, you know, and and just as a. I, I hate to use the term power user, but as someone who's very familiar with Windows and has my own way of doing things, and I know all the keyboard shortcuts and everything, mm. there are things that are uh, less, <laughs> you know, in this version. When you right-click mm. the desktop or the taskbar, there's much, many fewer options than there used to be, and I used to use some of that stuff a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, have to kind of work around it. Then there are other goofy things like um, Windows Key plus A in Windows 10 brings up Action Center, which is where your notifications are, but if you do Windows Key plus A in Windows 11, you get quick settings which is not where your notifications are. It turns out it's Windows Key plus N now, by the way. But, <laughs> you know, you just have to kind of learn those things. And it's like, um, hmm, okay. So I don't know. I, I, yeah. I And actually, I'm interested. I, th I think Mary Jo probably has a good answer for this. But I get a lot of people who ask me, because I keep talking about how important it is to provide feedback and everything. Yeah, right. And uh, hopefully <laughs> change some of the, you know, the dumber decisions. But you have to wonder... If this thing isn't pretty much in the can, right? It is. It's and done. That, it's done. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And, <laughs> you know, this week, tomorrow maybe, or today, whatever, they'll release a new build, and maybe next week they will as, again. And those things will have improvements in yeah. them. And the, mm -hmm. some of those improvements will involve some of the things that we and others have complained about. And you, we will feel good about this because we will think our feedback has been heard. But mm -hmm. I actually don't think that's how that works. I think that's coincidental. <laughs> I think yeah. that they are compiling feedback and that they are intending to make some changes based on that, but that we will see that in V2 or V3 or whatever. And that I think this thing's barreling toward completion. And so that's, I kind of want, I, yeah. I'll maybe I'll ask that as a question. Like that's, mm -hmm. right? I mean, does that seem right. yeah. where we I are mean, really the, with this thing? Yeah, the test build that we got last week in the dev channel, it was 22000.65, so barely a, a tiny yeah. increment above what the first release was, right? It was all right. fixes, basically. Um, and so you know how this works. They'll have they'll get this version to their OEMs, and they'll make this the one. And then the next several months, they'll issue cum cumulative updates that everybody will be right. testing in the various rings, right? And it'll just be very um, small tweaks, maybe a couple features, new features here and there, but. Um, yeah. it's done. Like, this is what Windows 11 is. This is it. This is like, going to sound like it. a dumb, uh, I don't mean this as a proof point, but I, I, do, I will just say I find this fascinating. This is the first version of Windows in, in some form of a beta in decades yeah. that the first public beta, I'll call it, has appeared. And the thing that's missing is the watermark from the desktop. Right. Mm. Usually during the insider program, you've got a watermark the whole time. Mm. Oh, and there's no I watermark. See what you're and usually, yeah, one true. of the last things they do before they complete a, pro a product like Windows, uh, some version of Windows, is they remove the watermark from the desktop. Right. That's true. And this one shipped without it from day one. And yeah. I, I think that is, I know that's uh, nonsense uh, logic in some ways, but I think that in some ways points to how far along this thing is. <laughs> you know, yeah. we're not even yeah. going to put that thing on there because literally. We're twenty two thousand is the final build. It's just a question of it's twenty two thousand point seven five or eight six yeah. or yeah. you know whatever number it is. You know, 
And you know, the, the features that are in Windows 11, like all the, t the new touch capabilities and things like that, um, what do they call it, voice yeah. typing, all those mm -hmm. had already been tested in the dev channel, yeah. right? They just pulled them back before they did Windows 10, you know, the last version of Windows 10, 21H1 or whatever. Right. Um, and, but you've already tested them. Like if you're thinking, you know, oh, we haven't tested it though. You already tested those months ago. So you've already done that if you're an insider. Yeah, I, I will say, and I wrote, this is the second part of this little story. I, I wrote about this, I guess, the other day, but, you know, as a power user, I, I like I said, I, I well, they remove things. And for me personally, it's a little weird. It's like, I'm so used to doing things a certain way and it's gone. And I'm like, mm, yeah. you know, but I, I've sort of, I'm okay with it because I really feel like one of the Achilles heels of Windows is that they've tried to make it appeal to too many different types of people and they yeah. provide too many different ways of doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And so like one of the things I sort of liked about this minimalist look that they have to Windows 11, at least from the beginning, was that they're, you know, this is not absolute, but I mean, there's fewer ways to do things than, than there used to be. And that means for people like me who are used to doing things a certain way, we'll be maybe left in the dark a little bit, but mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're familiar with enough, enough with the system that we can figure that stuff out, it's okay. But even in that first build, I've already seen like a total scale back of this. Yeah. And they added back two things that had been missing before. And I don't, I don't think they should have added these things in at all. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one of them is right click in the refresh option, um, which is uh, not necessary <laughs> almost ever. Mm -hmm. But it's some, if you need it, you can just click on the desktop and hit F5. It does the same thing. Like it's... And it was available in a sub menu, and it's like they've surfaced again. It's like okay, so there goes one little bit of simplicity. But the big one is this search option thing, right? Like Windows has yeah. had Start Search. Well, Windows has had, the Start menu's had a search option since probably Windows ninety five, but mm -hmm. Start Search as we know it today has existed since Windows Vista. Mm -hmm. There's always been like a little UI to it, you know. In in Vista, there was a search box. In um, I guess probably Windows eight one or at least, certainly in Windows ten. Um, they added, a, actually it was Windows 10, they added a search box to the taskbar. They made it even more obvious. You didn't have to open start. Um, but you could just, you know, hit start and start typing. Just like on the Mac, right. you can hit command space and start typing. It's the same exact thing. In fact, you could argue Windows is not only first, but easier because it's only one key you have to hit. Yeah, one key versus, exactly, yeah. yeah. But you have to know that it exists, right? So I don't mind that they add UI to facilitate it because most normal people, you know, users, mainstream yeah. users don't even know this feature exists. So that's cool. And I can recommend to more advanced users that you can remove those UI elements from the taskbar, at least, because you don't need them, you know. Uh, they don't do anything. And in Windows 11, they, there was a start, uh, sorry, a search button, not a search box. Mm -hmm. And you can remove it. And it's like, okay, fine. They got, you know, it's a little smaller than it was. That's yeah. fine. But then in the second build, they added a search box to start. It's like, guys, I, you don't need a third <laughs> way to do this. And actually, there are four UI points for start search in Windows 11 now. Four. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. Could you just, it just do have one. Just have one. Yeah. And by the way, yeah. let it be removable. So yeah. that the people who don't need that don't aren't cluttered, you know, their UI isn't cluttered mm -hmm. up with superfluous nonsense but here we are you know and so i'm a little nervous that they're going to fall back to their old way of doing things yeah. as they as feedback comes in and microsoft just i i think psychologically cannot help wanting to please everybody right and i think they're just going to turn this thing into what you know like what windows has always <laughs> been it's like this is your opportunity to draw a line yeah 